Hey everybody, it's Megali. If you do like this video, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a big ol' thumbs up. I wanted to show you at Home Goods how many amazing things you'll find for end of the year, teacher gifts, ideas for baskets, and all sorts of good stuff. So let's get shopping. Look at all of these hand soaps. Holy moly. I quickly remembered why I don't go to home goods very often because it's not very good for my bank account because I have a shopping addiction and I love, love to score clearance fines and really good deals and bargains. I could not believe how incredible their soaps selection is. This box of soaps, I mean, look how... I maybe it's just me. I think this is so cute. What a cute little gift. Uh, you could put it in baskets with all sorts of good stuff like their washcloths or towels or bath soaks or do a whole theme, a relaxing basket with calming soaps, candles. I mean, you can really score big here at Home Goods. These huge bars of soaps. I had to pick one up and show you just for a comparison. I mean, my hand is not very big, but this bar of soap is ginormous. And this is fantastic. It was only $4. It's so cute to give with a little, you know, just a little gift, a little thank you. Maybe tie it off with a washcloth and, you know, maybe a mug and some boxes of tea. These soaps and scrubs, I mean, it goes on. I felt like if you laid everything out, it would go on for miles. And there's something about being in a store like this. I mean, they really have a nice upkeep, and it smells fantastic. If this video could be scratch and sniff, I would try and hold all the soaps up for you to enjoy because there are just so many. <clears throat> I was seriously entranced with all the different soaps and how pretty their bottles are and they're not like bank breaking you know sometimes you pick up a really pretty bottle of soap and you'd think it'd be like twelve dollars because it's super pretty it's fancy and they're not they are just fabulously priced so pretty I mean something like this deep sleep those teachers are exhausted by the end of the year, and this would be perfect for them to put in some sort of basket, like a tranquil basket. There's so many good finds here. All the lavender stuff. I was having a good time with all these soaps and scents and scrubs. This is definitely my cup of tea. I'm going to have to start making some baskets myself just to have on hand. I mean, these, these things don't go bad, so it is fantastic. Even a neighbor gift, putting a little basket together or welcome to the neighborhood kind of basket. There are so many ideas here. My brain was exploding. So many fantastic scents. You could really go to town making a basket. And I'm definitely going to have to be making a basket video soon because I'm, I don't know, enthralled with all the different ideas that you can put together. And it's right here in one store. And you could put a couple of baskets together so easily without, you know, was it staying on a good budget, you know? These soaps and soaks, I really got a kick out of these. And again, it's very meticulously displayed. And here are some, you know, fancy soap dispensers and some cute little knickknacks for the bathroom, for cotton swabs or cotton balls or anybody who's into makeup. They have a really fantastic selection. If you haven't visited your local home goods, I highly recommend heading over there. I ended up purchasing a couple of things um, for 
upcoming events. Like I saw this great thing from my mom. Her birthday's coming up. I got her something. Uh, Father's Day is coming up. So I got my husband something. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. You are not going to leave empty handed. And everything here is just fantastic. There's so many different colors and variations you could make. And here's all their little goodies, their Keurig hot cocoa, baking stuff, candies. You can make any kind of basket. I was really thrilled with all these sprinkles. I mean, these are so amazing. I would never think personally to go to Home Goods for sprinkles like this. I would go to the candy store. There's all these jellies and jams. I'm definitely going to be making some great baskets for the holidays and all sorts of chocolate and popcorn and cookies and all sorts of goodies that you could put together. It's definitely so many fantastic items to get to put in a basket. And I was tempted to just buy cookies, just to buy cookies to have, but I resisted. There were so many good, enticing finds. There's all sorts of goodies you could put together in a basket. Cookies and tea, cookies and coffee, cookies and other baking goods. These are fantastic. Well, this, these are their healthier versions of trail mix and salad toppings. I found some great stuff for you keto people, ketogenic coffee. There's all sorts of good stuff here. MCT oil, a lot of fun stuff. This is great for, you know, somebody who's trying to eat healthier and change their dietary lifestyle. You can make a basket like that. I'm a big honey fan. I love to go to the farms on Long Island and get my local honey. And here's some apple cider vinegar. That was a great price for that size jug of apple cider vinegar. All sorts of good treats here. All different flavors for coffee and stuff. This was fun. Made me want to be a barista, but I don't have the kitchen space for all those goodies. So many different flavors to choose from. Lots of good Starbucks finds. I actually bought a Hawaiian coffee blend. Um, it is next to the Kahlua and Joe. I'm like, oh, let me try this. So I'm going to have to let you guys know how that is. I couldn't resist it. I'm just so sick of Folgers right now. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of those coffees and what your favorite flavors are. I'm definitely going to be uh, trying it this weekend, so I'm very excited. Hopefully it is as delicious as the bag makes it look. And I'm definitely going to be making some baskets soon. So again, comment down below and let me know what kind of baskets you'd like me to make. Or let me know uh, what baskets you have made and the items that you've put in there. There's so many good things and I cannot wait to make a basket. I already have some ideas jogging my brain um, for holidays that are coming up. Uh, I definitely can make a tea basket, uh, relaxation basket, all sorts of good stuff. So again, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please comment down below. Please be a subscriber and give this video a big old thumbs up. Thanks for watching.